Does it mean that we can't have news going on at there of people indulging in fraudulent activities without naming some people from our country? You know, I keep wondering because another news is out. I saw this news on the internet. Um, it was published in March last um, month, 2023, that 18... 18 Nigerian nurses in America, in USA, has been charged for certificate forgery. You know, I keep wondering that you know that you are not qualified to be a nurse. If really you are eager or you are hungry for the profession, it is proper and it is very nice for you to go through the right means. Study acquire your certificate acquire your degree to become a nurse not trying to go through short corners when you know that you being a nurse you have people's life entrusted in your hands you are responsible for so many people's life and you still went for that you still decided to indulge in such activities of forging nursing certificates Anyways, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Joanne and I'm based here in England. I bring you live happenings of our Nigeria brothers and sisters here in the UK and also in the diaspora at large. If it's something that interests you, please do me well to subscribe to my channel and leave the bell icon on. And very, very big thank you to my returning subscribers. You guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. I love the support you give me on this platform. Thanks for always coming back to check on my videos. So guys, today's video is coming from America, all the way from United States of America. And it also involves our Nigeria people. That is why I'm bringing this news to every one of you. I'm bringing this news to create awareness those of you that still want to or you are thinking of indulging in such activities it is better for you to withdraw so the news came out that 18 nigerian nurses has been charged they've been charged in america over certificate forgery these people we are not qualified but they bought their certificate from the funniest thing is that the certificate that they were holding, they were using to work, was being bought from the same America. It's not as if they brought the certificate from Nigeria. These certificates were bought in institutions, nursing institutions, yes, that does diploma, certification of nursing, um, accreditation and all that. So they bought this certificate from this institution, about three institutions that we are listed. According to the news presently, the institutions have been closed down, like they've been shut down. I trust America for that. You know, I keep wondering, you are not even scared. You know that this profession is a very, very delicate one. Any little thing that happens, you will be held accountable, you will be held liable for it, especially when it involves a patient's life. You are in charge of people's life. And then you know that you are not qualified. With your boldness, you still went into that profession. You applied for jobs and then you are working as a nurse when you know that any little thing that happens they will go through your profile they want to see your your qualification that accreditations and all that you still you see not only our nigeria people our nigeria people they get this kind of mind when some people they get at the yeah this is an insult to the nursing profession yeah i'll say this again nurses that are here I'm sorry that things like this are happening. These are the kind of people that will be spoiling the nursing profession and people will say nurses are this, nurses and that because these people, they don't even have um, empathy as a nurse to carry out such um, duties. They go there to render services that are unimaginable. People will say nurses are this, nurses are that. It is not very clear that most of these nurses that indulge in all these, you know, funny activities on professional uh, services that they render in the hospitals and all that, most of them are not even qualified. Some of them bought their certificate. Do not get me wrong, some of them that bought this certificate, some of them have studied nursing, but they did not pass. 
yeah so they did not pass their exams but they had the opportunity to purchase these certificates after purchasing certificate they will apply for jobs they get the jobs they look at them like okay it's coming from an institution i wonder what is really happening in this world how can you be selling a nursing certificate to people that are not qualified when you know how delicate that profession is it is a slap it is a taboo it is an insult to those professional nurses at there it is unacceptable so according to the news more of them will be fished at they will fish them at because the u.s authority they said that they are going to carry out a large number of um auditing they will audit a lot a lot of um, nursing home a lot of hospitals around you know all over america all over the u.s and then they will fish out some of those people that are not qualified that are using 4g certificate to work as a nurse it is it is it is so alarming if you talk about um healthcare assistance i know it is not proper it is illegal for you to work as a healthcare assistant without undergoing some of those training but we will understand that it is not really like a professional professional thing to work as a healthcare assistant or a support worker you need to undergo some training you know here and there just little training but when it comes to nursing nursing is a professional course it's a professional job so you have to be professionally qualified yeah you have to qualify professionally to be able to um register as a nurse that is why you have a pain as a registered nurse you don't just say oh i'm a nurse i'm a nurse if, if you apply for a job they will ask you for that pain and before you have the pain you need to qualify you need to go through the process study and pass your exams pass your projects and everything you go for placement as well placement so that you will have the practical understanding of what the course entails of what the profession entails but these people they just jump past all those things without um going for placement without you know passing their exams and then they want to be a nurse we know a lot of people especially ladies in america these days they want that profession of being a nurse oh and what are you i'm a nurse i'm a nurse i'm a nurse and we hear that those nurses are earning very high in america even here in uk nurses they are earning very very high so lots of people want to go into the nursing profession because of the money they are not going into the nursing profession because of the god passion for it or they are empathic they are not they are just going there because they hear that nurses are earning very high nurses salary are very good so they want to go into this profession and then you want to cut corners you want to cut corners to go into this profession is unacceptable so i know this one that they are doing in the us presently trying to fish out those that are using forgery forgery certificate as a nurse to work i know very soon it will come to the united kingdom they are still going to try to fish out those that are using fake or forgery certificates to work as a nurse in the uk as well it is very shameful that most of these people that we are caught are nigerians most of them 18 of them are nigerians presently we i know they are still going to have more people that will be they will be fishing at if there are more i'll still bring it to your notice and if there's an update about how uh, this old um team has gone if they've taken them to court and if they've been charged for so 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 years number of years or whatever that will happen to them i'll also bring it to your notice see guys let me just say this one before i end this video if you know that you are hungry or you are thirsty for any course any profession please try and study that profession to become one don't try to cut corners i'll see you all in my 